Welcome to Christ Centered Gamer's latest unboxing of One More's newest set of wireless headphones. So these are the One More TWS Q10. This is their, as far as I can tell, their entry level model of fully wireless earbuds. Uh, it has 26 hours of battery life, but that does include the case. Uh, game mode for lower latency, um, Bluetooth 5.3, and two mic AI environmental noise canceling for good microphone performance. Let's see if I get that to focus. The camera's not working with me today. There we go. And here's a bit, just a good picture of the back before I read it to you a little bit. Relevant specs. So uh, it takes 1.5 hours to charge the earbuds. The case takes two hours to charge. Uh, Playtime. Earbuds fully charged is 7.5 hours. It's actually not bad. Uh, 26 hours with the case. And earbuds fully charged. Uh, 32 hours, that doesn't, it's not really relevant. Uh, five volt charging case output. I don't even know you could do that, but okay. Uh, 0.2 amps does nothing. Char charge case inputs five volts, one amp. Um, works over 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, so I just want to point out that this is obviously an AirPod clone. I mean, you can tell by the picture, but it's also 16.99 based on their website. That is dirt cheap. If they work and don't sound like terrible. They're a win. $16.99, guys. $17, bucks, what do you expect? So if they work at all, they're great. I have expectations on price points. And at $17, I you got to keep your expectations in check. So this is an entry-level model. You know, and it doesn't have noise cancel or anything fancy. But again, $17. I mean, that's a really good value. Oh, my goodness. Is that small? Look at how tiny that is. Looks like I accidentally pulled out the instruction book uh, incorrectly. Um, there is an instruction book in here. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna break this if I'm not careful. All right, well, that's no good. I busted up the instruction book. Uh, it's in all kinds of different languages. It looks like there is um, English on this side right here. And so there's the instructions if you want to take a quick peek. Okay. Um, not too much to worry about. It's just, it's got pause and play pause and double tap and hang up. Um, uh, media playback, triple tap, left tap or double tap. So yeah. Um, oh, if you wanted to connect with other devices, you need to touch the touch button four times or disconnect the connected device. That's good to know. I was, I had a hard time figuring out how to repair on another pair of earbuds and that can sometimes be a bit of a hassle. Okay, so let's see what the insides look like. This is really small. It's kind of hard to emphasize how tiny this is. Um, I've been reviewing some other One More products. This is the Q20, just to give you a reference point of how much smaller this set is. Uh, let me put that to the side real quick. This might be the smallest pair of earbuds I've seen. Um, Man, I'm trying to get this plastic wrap off so I can show you the inside, the good part. Okay, so I put this out of frame. Man, yeah, see, this is the Q20 versus the Q10. This thing is so tiny. And let us, and it says one more logo. You got a charging port on the bottom. Yay, USB type C. And that's it, folks. That's pretty straightforward. Um, unlike some other models, these are, oh, they have little, uh, you got a little blue tape to prevent them from contacting the bottom. So I got to do that. But yeah. These are meant to sit in your ear like earbuds. They're not, um, there's no IEM rubber tips on these. You can see that's what they look like. I'm guessing this is an infrared sensor for when it's in your ear. I know AirPods do that, at least I believe they do. Um, so that maybe they know when they're in your ear. Find out. All right, so I'm just gonna take out this silly little blue plastic that's part of the packaging so that we can charge them and pair them with my phone. If I can get this thing off my fingers though, these sticky these stick, sticky glue is always fun. <laughs> All right, so that's one side. Get the other one out. Man, this thing's tiny. I can pull the other side off. You can just see that's the same thing. It's just more, more tape. Pull that off. Okay. Okay, and so they do have clearly readable left and right, which is always nice. So you can see this is the right side, this is the left side. Let me show you that real quick. There you go, the camera focused on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here. Um, we've got 
Okay, so it's glowing red, so that means it's charging. You see that there? I'm going to close it, get my phone ready. All right. <clears throat> get it on Bluetooth scanning mode. And let's see what we got. We should have, hopefully, a one more Q10. Searching. I may have to take it out. Been showing up yet? Uh, re refresh again. Okay, there we go. One more Q10. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pair it. Okay, pair. So, yeah, these just kind of go in your ear. I don't have, like I said, super high expectations as long as they don't sound, as long as they sound reasonable, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Just play one song real quick. Not terrible. No. Not bad. Um, really, for something like this, I just want something reasonably clear that's not just all bass or all treble, right? Um, and uh, these accomplish that. They're not too bad. I'm not expecting an audiophile's dream on a pair of earbuds like this. Uh, I want to be able to hear voices clearly. And uh, they really don't sound that bad. <laughs> They're really not bad at all. I'm kind of impressed. For $17? Yes, please. All right. Well, I guess that's it for uh, this first impressions and uh, unboxing video of the One More Q10. I mean, I mean these are an incredible value. And uh, for $16.99? Yes, please. I'll give you more in the written, fully written review, but uh, first impressions are very good. All right. Take care. God bless. Mm -hmm.